Here's Brody Brazil. Okay, trivia time for all you young kids watching the YouTube channel. Do you know what this is? Seriously, do you actually know? It's a five and a quarter inch floppy disk. That's right. These are what we used to use to save information. The computer itself didn't really have much of a hard drive. You would take one of those disks, you would put it in this drive, you would close that hatch right there. The red light would come on because it's reading and or writing data. It would take a little while, but that's how you would load software or programs onto your computer, a lot of times with this floppy disk, the five and a quarter inch floppy disk. Yeah, that's actually the size, which is a little bit different from the other type of floppy disk, which is also a little bit more common in more recent years. I say more recent, but I'm talking more like the end of the 90s versus the middle of the 80s, so to speak. But this is a three and a half inch floppy disk. It's a little bit more robust, harder plastic. It's got the stainless steel or metal sleeve, whatever that is to cover the actual part where the, the information is stored. But this is also a floppy disk. I just wanted to separate those two things. I'm actually in this story talking about the larger disks, the five and a quarter inch disks. What if I told you that streetcars in San Francisco as part of the SFMTA Muni program, SF Muni streetcars run on a system that it uses floppy disks here in 2024. What? I mean, we're in the day and age of artificial intelligence and computers in our pockets and wireless information being spread instantaneously. And for somehow, some way, and some reason, we have a trifecta of floppy disks running the trains, running the streetcars in San Francisco. I want to give full credit to KGO Television. It appears, as I've done the research on this story, they were the ones to actually bring this to light and uncover it in a television report. According to them, the SFMTA and the Muni streetcar system uses three different five and a quarter inch floppy disks every single day as they have since 1998. It helps run the automatic train control system which is especially important in tunnels. And basically the explanation is it's what keeps the proper separation and spacing between trains while they're in the tunnels. That seems pretty important so that you don't have collisions, you don't have head to head, you don't have a, a train rear ending another one. The automatic train control system seems pretty important in tunnels. This was part of a system that was installed back in 1998 for SF Muni. And at that time, Muni was the first agency in the United States to use something like this software. So, hey, great that it was revolutionary back then. Although I'm trying to remember, like even in the late 90s, the five and a quarter inch floppy disk, it was not that common on like a brand new computer. It's kind of how technology has gone. Back in the day, you'd have some computers that had a big floppy disk drive and a small floppy disk drive, five and a quarter, three and a half. And over time, the five and a quarter inch bay, it went away. And then all of a sudden there's a CD-ROM drive. So a CD-ROM drive and then a three and a half inch floppy drive. And then eventually a DVD-ROM drive and then a, a CD-RW, a writing drive. Yeah, we're burning CDs here on my YouTube channel. But anyway, long story short, I mean, I feel like the five and a quarter inch floppy drives were more of a 80s thing than a late 90s thing, but I digress. So an upgrade is planned for this system. If you're wondering why I'm bringing this up, it's because eventually they are going to get around to replacing this. Problem is, it's going to take another 10 years and hundreds of millions of dollars to get past using these same three floppy drives and disks, which have been used since 1998. Here's what Jeffrey Tomlin says. Jeffrey is the director of transportation of the San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency. Quote, it's a question of risk. The system is currently working just fine. <laughs> but we know that with each increasing year, risk of data degradation on the floppy disks increases and that at some point there will be, whoa, a catastrophic failure. I hope he's talking about the disks and the drives will have a catastrophic failure, not the actual trains with passengers on the track. Understand that. Everything's fine for now, and it's working fine for now, but they're a little bit nervous about what the future is going to bring with this system. 
The detailed project schedule will be finalized once we have a contractor on board. This is effectively a multi-phase, decade-long project that starts with pieces of Market Street subway and pieces in the surface. Ultimately, our goal is to have a single train control system for the entire rail system. And again, those floppy drives, they only deal with, I think, the Market Street tunnel. So it's not the entire system. There's a portion of this, and it's only one system, but it is still part of the backbone and architecture of what makes trains run and keeps people safe. Going back to the KGO television report, they say that this system was designed in the late 90s to last 20 to 25 years. Well, guess what? We're in year 26. And if it's going to take another 10, they better really keep a close eye on it. And they do. The staff monitors the system daily in the control room. So if there is something wrong, instantly they'll get to it. We talked about the upgrade already in the works. The upgrade will be paid for by state and federal grants. But it is interesting that we are still relying on old technology. And hey, I'm somebody who loves old technology when it doesn't matter. If it ain't broke, there's no need to fix it. Sometimes the old way was the better way. But as somebody who used those discs just like that, and you know, the three and a half inch discs, they were not, they were more rigid. Those were called floppy disks because they're actually floppy. And just knowing how old they are, what they've been through, how long they've run the trains, just like that. Let's get to fixing this sooner than later. But I just wanted to pass that along. I thought it was interesting. I know this is a sports-based YouTube channel, but hopefully you found that interesting, if not insightful. And because you've made it here to the end, thumbs up. That'll greatly help me, this channel, and this video. And if you've never seen me before, you've never seen this channel before. It's not normally what I do here, but I would love it if you make sure you subscribe so I can definitely see you back here next time.